Unfortunately, day in and day out, you know, we report on the crime that plagues many Baltimore neighborhoods. But tonight, we're going to take you to West Baltimore for something other than a shooting or some senseless violence. A story from ABC2 News, Pete O'Neill, that will truly be music to your ears. If you are a kid living in the city, these are some of the sights you see every day and night. But if you are one of the kids attending Lockham and Bundy Elementary School in West Baltimore, this is what you saw today. A truck. A beautiful, wonderful truck. Arriving with hundreds of instruments. Children were so excited. My heart was beating because I was excited for them because I know how they are. They get the instruments and they want to play them. They don't want to put them down. If they could carry them home with them, they would. Like that and hold it in your arm. <laughs> carry them home? They can barely carry them into the school. Good job. But once inside, that's where the real fun began. Go straight. Let's try to get your bow arm right. Here, let's help her with her bow arm. This program was created three years ago by this young lady. She's the main conductor of the Baltimore Symphony. Each of us has a responsibility to do something to try to make an impact and improve the conditions that we have. For me, being a musician, uh, learning to play an instrument when I was a kid was an incredibly liberating and um, mind-opening um, opportunity. The reward for me is coming to the school and having the kids that I know, oh, give me hugs, you know, I, I find these kids so warm, so embracing, so accepting, so non-judgmental. It's really, for me, it's very, very inspiring. Well, on that note, we'll end here. Pete O'Neill, ABC2 News. What a great story. Now, the program is so special because for three or four days a week, their hands-on experience with the instruments gives the kids an escape from everything negative around them.